everybody, more growth of an answer here, and today I want to show you how to build this double pole PVC pipe backdrop stand. Now I've got another video showing how to make a single PVC pipe stand, but this one makes it so you can do two layers of fabric or two layers of backdrop material on it to suit your needs. So follow along and I'll show you how to build this frame out of nothing other than PVC pipe. I ran out to my local hardware store and picked up seven 10 foot lengths of one inch schedule 40 PVC pipe. And I'll be using this to create the entire frame. The tools you need for this are a tape measure, a PVC pipe cutter that can cut at least one inch pipe, and a permanent marker so we can make all of our measurements. Now if you don't want to cut this yourself, you could always check with your local hardware store because sometimes they will cut these to length for you, so you can just grab the cut list from the description box below and take it with you. But if you're going to cut these yourself, you want to start off by cutting the longest pieces first out of your pipe, and that way you can use the remnants from that to cut the smaller pieces. So I'm just going to go in with my pipe cutters and start working my way through the entire cut list. And I would encourage you to make sure you measure each piece because I have found that even though it says they're 10 foot lengths of pipe, they weren't always exactly 10 feet. So just make sure that you're measuring twice before you start cutting up all your pipes. And here is all the cut pieces together. So you'll end up having three 96 inch pieces, four 48 inch pieces, four 36 inch pieces, two 24 inch pieces, two 12 inchers, and four six inch pieces. Don't worry about having to grab a pin right this moment. All of this is written in detail in the description box below if you need to reference it later. In addition to the pipe, we also have to pick up some fittings. Now these are all one inch pipe fittings and you'll be able to find them in baskets at your local hardware, except perhaps the first piece. Now this is a four way T and this is a bit of a specialty item that's used more in like PVC pipe furniture than it is in plumbing. So I did have to order these off of Amazon and I'll have that linked below so you can use the one that I have exactly here. And it's got a vertical pipe with a 90 degree bend coming out of the two sides and that is critical to making this work. We also need to pick up four 90 degree elbows and six T's and these are really common pieces that you should be able to pick up at almost any hardware store. So once we've got everything gathered, let's go ahead and start putting together the legs. I laid out all the pieces for one leg on the floor and to start with the foot you're going to need a 12 inch, 6 inch, and 24 inch piece and two of the T's. Now this will create the foot of one of the legs and I'm just going to snugly fit all of those together. Now I do recommend assembling all of this on the floor because it allows you to make sure everything is nice and straight and square. So I'm able to take both of those T's and press them against the floor and that helps keep them in alignment. I also want to note that the right side of the stand that I'm sitting on is going to be the back side of the stand and so that's why you see the shorter pipe because I'm going to be putting this against a wall but you could always use another 24 inch piece instead of the 12 inch piece if you need to have more stability. The next piece to add are the two four foot lengths of pipe and this will work our way up the leg to the middle support section. Now this has our T and our four way T. And we want to make sure the flat side of that four-way T is facing what will be the back of our stand and that 90 degree turn is pointing upright and towards that six inch piece. And so I'm just going to snug all of these together and add my three foot sections to the top side of both of those T's. Now on the end of the three foot sections we have our final two pieces which are the 90 degree bends and I'm just going to slip those right on and make sure that that bend is pointing upright because that will eventually be the center of our stand. So once you've got all of this snug together you want to come back and make the second in a mirror image of this one. Now that both of the legs are assembled, and I've got them just leaning against the wall here, it's time to put this all together. Now this works best if there's two people working together, but since it's just me, I'm going to be using my rolling craft cart here to help hold one of the sides while I do this by myself. I've also got a step stool to be able to reach the top pipes since these are about 7 feet tall. I'm going to take the first leg and lean it against this wall for the time being before I grab the second leg. And as you're setting this up, you do want to make sure all of your 90 degree bends at the top are facing towards the center of the stand. So I'm going to grab my first pole and put it on the middle bracer first, and that'll allow the stand to be able to support itself without any bracing. Now if the stand isn't standing perfectly straight or square, don't worry at this point, once we get the upper poles assembled and align the feet so that they're nice and square, everything will line up really nicely and it won't be crooked like it is at the moment. 
This is probably the part where having two people setting this up would be most beneficial, but it is possible to do this with just one person. I'm able to get one end put into that top bracer and kind of hold the pipe while I shimmy over to the other end. Before we finish with our setup, it's always important to add sandbags or any kind of weights to the base of the stand. And that helps prevent it from tipping over, if someone bumps into it, or if it's a windy day. So I always recommend adding weights. And these are some that I sewed that I'll link above for you. Now this is done, but I wanna show you what this looks like with some fabric on it. So I've got these panels and they're five foot wide by 10 foot long, and I'll have them linked in the description box below if you're interested in having some like this as well. But this is where the backdrop stand really shines because it allows you to do two different layers. So this could be a backdrop fabric and twinkle lights uh, in front or behind that, or like what I'm doing here is a two-tone approach, and this allows you to do a lot of really cool swagging of fabric. So I'm just gonna to gather up my front panels in a really pretty swoop and attach that to the frame with a couple of pipe cleaners here. So I'm just going to make sure the folds are really nice and swagging over and then attach it right above that center bracing and that means that my pipe cleaner won't shimmy down the pole and will hold this lovely swag. I hope you're inspired by today's project. There's so many ways you can use a backdrop stand like this, and it is one more versatile piece in your event kit. If you enjoyed today's video, please consider giving this video a like. It lets me know that you've enjoyed it and want to see more videos like this. Speaking of other videos, I've got a bunch of them over here you can check out. I do all kinds of event planning, party setups, balloon tutorials, and all kinds of decorating tips. So you can check into some of those, and until the next time, remember to stay creative. Bye.